guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's DMG, and welcome back to World of Tank Sports. Today I have mastery gameplay for you in the Leopard Prototype A. This tier 9 German medium tank is known for its speed and weaponry, and we are going to put that to good use today. Now, this Object 263 wants to know if we should be going to the Dunes. We should, as I feel the Dunes is just a better choice to be able to spot enemies, and if you win the flank, you can enter the town with ease despite them having the cap advantage in the town. Now I'm going to go up to this location, have a quick spot, have a quick shot into the E50, and back down. I spot the E3 as well, so we know what's going on there. Now my friend in the Object 263 is going to get absolutely destroyed here, but at least he realizes that he made a mistake and now he is going to back off. Thank God, so at least he's alive. Now, what am I to do? It's kind of a stalemate situation with this E50M and the E3 on the other side. So I'm going to see and if I can get a few more easy shots. I see that E50 coming over. I assume the E3 is coming over as well. They're going to try and rush me, but now I am away from the situation. That's that tactical movement that I'm trying to showcase right here, is that if you see them both coming at you and you are in a paper tank, do not try and fight them you will die. It's knowing when to run. Knowing when to run is so important and you're using the speed to its maximum advantage. I understand if you were in a slower tank and you'd want to fight them off, but in a leopard that has no front armor? Yeah, definitely a bad idea. Now that we have capped that base because space has been made, that Patton has been absolutely drilled, I'm now available to go into the E3. I don't know where that shot goes, but now the E3 is in a very bad spot. For some reason, I think he was trying to get back to that rock, which would make things very, very difficult, but he does not do that and makes a severe error, and I'm going to punish him for it now. Now it's going to be HE into his rear, and this will be quite the easy finish. What's important now is that since the enemies in the dunes are cleared out now that we must go to the town and help out our other teammates and I'm going to play to the strengths of the Leo here and attack this T30 the T30 is isolated let's go for him and you can really see the gun depression not working in my favor here and that's one of the poor things about the PTA compared to its tier 10 brother the Leopard 1 is that this only has minus 6 compared to the Leopard 1's minus 9 now I'm still able to get these shots, but at a cost that I might expose. However, the Leopard's super fantastic shell velocity and aim time and dispersion allow me to put a shot into the T-30 very quickly and take him out of the game. Now, using the Leopard's speed, I'm going to flank around and see if I can destroy the Object 268. He is a two-shot for me, which means that this should be easy cleanup. If I can catch him off guard on the first shot and then start to reload and get around him on the second, I will win this engagement. I hit the first shot and catch him off guard, and will I get the second? This is kind of a mistake by me right here. I should be aiming, and I get quite lucky on this. However, with good foundation and good preparation before, I do get away with that kill. Now, this Waffenträger off Panzerfeer does have poor charge reverse, and I will just be able to outmaneuver his weapon. I hit two HE shells into him, and then I'm looking for damage. I've realized the mastery coming, and I go for the ram. And the magical armor of the PTA, which really should not bounce, but for some reason does, I'm able to ricochet the E100 or absorb into the tracks, I think, or something. It looked like it was a shot off the front, but then go for the final kill shots. And now I'm going to put one into his track, lock him in place, and be able to get the assistance damage from my team coming in. And that is the Leopard PTA in a nutshell, being able to use the speed to set up the weapon. I know I said that in a tank review before, but I'm going to tell you it again. Now, we receive a mastery badge for our efforts, doing 5,374 damage with three destroyed, making a 69,377 credit profit. Now, interesting thing about the Leopard PTA, while the credit coefficient is not great, is not great it does have the highest credit coefficient at tier 9, so if you play well, you will be making credits. And before I continue at all, I wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I mean, what a day. I went to bed yesterday night with about 225, not even 225 subscribers, and then I wake up this morning to about 240, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? And then I've realized that Bushka has released my masterclass video on the Jag Panzer E100. And over the past, what, two, three hours since that video has been released, 
I have now gotten to around last check last I checked was 321 subscribers I believe so thank you for that I really appreciate it all of you are great people for subscribing it helps me produce better content superior content for you to watch and enjoy and most importantly learn something from if you really enjoyed this content please slap that like button and subscribe for more and tell your friends about it too and if you didn't please leave your constructive criticism in the comments as always i really enjoyed the opportunity to share my passion with you today and i'll see you next time